Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that I'm doing 25 days of giveaway. I'm still giving away $100 every day for 25 days. So for the past few days, I've just been kind of taking a little little time off because my grandpa just recently passed and it it kind of just like hit me really hard because I lost my grandma earlier this year. So I really needed to take that time off just to really face what was going on and not really have to um, worry about creating a video or worry about creating period. I did miss two days. So today I'm going to be choosing three winners. So head over to Instagram to see what you have to do to enter the giveaway. Today's gonna be a pretty easy day. I'm just gonna show you guys what I eat in a day. So let's get started. I'm definitely a tea person over coffee. Um, so this is what I do. This is called the Rosemary Blend. It has, let's see what it has. Let's see, let's see. Okay, it has dandelion root, red clover blossom, nettle, rose hips, and hibiscus. This one is also from Clarity, and this one is yerba mate, and yerba mate is just for energy. So yerba mate is a really, really good tea to have in your like morning tea. And then this one is jasmine green tea from Caffeina. And the reason why I like to put jasmine green tea is for like the flavor and the smell. I take a scoop about like this big of all the teas. This little, oh, my water's ready. This little tea maker is the reason why I like to, is the reason why I look forward to getting up in the morning because it's just like a fun little thing to do. So what you do is you pour the water in the hot water. There you go. And then just kind of let it sit so it can do its thing. This is when the magic happens guys. So. You just sit it on the cup and then it pees your tea out. <laughs> I usually do another pour because there's still some really good tea here. I try to drink about two cups of tea every morning and that's how I get started. So my first cup of tea is for when I'm replying to my emails and then that's when it really goes through me and it's poop time. I am very proud of my poop schedule. I poop every single morning. I'm really proud of that pattern because you just get it done and get it out of the way with you're already getting a good start to your day. So after my poop is when I drink my second cup of tea and that's usually before I go on my walk but today I'm taking a day off so I'm just I've just been working all morning and Rick just came in and got me and made me this this is the Kodiak cakes um, blueberry muffin it's surprisingly really good and I really enjoyed it I'm a fan of their pancakes and I'm actually a fan of this it's not too sweet and the the texture and consistency isn't too dry or anything I'm a fan of that so probably gonna pick up some more. All right, lunch time. I don't feel like making food. I would probably get a poke bowl or just get something to go or delivered, but I'm gonna make a quick lunch. I have some avocado. I'm gonna add it into the pan, wait for it to get hot. Then let's prepare our eggs. If you didn't know, these are the best eggs to get from the grocery store, Happy Eggs. There's like another packaging of these that are supposed to be like even better. But these are the eggs that will give you the super orange yolk. So it's the good stuff. I don't know if you guys can tell, but very, very pretty eggs. And this is very stupid and you don't have to use this machine to uh, mix your eggs but I'm using like a frother to mix my eggs because I don't know it's just something fun to do in the kitchen I just feel like it blends it up so nicely like there's just no um, whites left you know like those nasty mucusy whites right, you see that it just works really really well and then oh let's turn that down then i add in just a little bit of fish sauce that's probably like two or a teaspoon a teaspoon or two of uh fish sauce but yeah like 
it gets your eggs so liquidy and it's so fast just hassle free you know pour it in beautiful always cook your eggs on medium low because eggs is a process it gets overcooked so easily so do not overcook your eggs here we go and then at this point i am going to leave it in the pan but i'm gonna turn off the heat just so it can cook a little bit in the pan still i just have white rice ready to go in my fridge a little tip for reheating rice if you want it to be if you want it to have a little bit more moisture and not dry um, get a paper towel dampen it with water um, and then place it over the top of the rice or you can just like kind of sprinkle in a little bit of water um, over the rice just so it can like just so it can steam the rice a little bit. Some veggies on the side. This is broccolini. These are from my meal prep video. And then I just heat them up in the microwave. It's out from the microwave. I'm going to add my egg right here. And then turn my heat back onto high. I have these Chinese sausages right here. They're just, always, I always just have these just in case. There are days where I don't feel like, I don't know, eating stuff that I make or I don't feel like eating out, but I'm like stumped on what I want to eat. This is just, this is like, you can never go wrong with this, you know? And all it requires is for you to heat it up a little bit. And this is where this dish really gets exciting. Look at all of that. Can anybody else that lives in an apartment like can relate because every time I cook, even if it's just like the littlest things, it goes off. I have some Maggie seasoning sauce. This is like a soy sauce. I'm just going to put it over my veggies and just like kind of sprinkle it on. Um, and then I have some chili crunch. This is from Momofuku, David Chang. Uh, you can tell that it's really fucking delicious. Look at this. This is gonna be my, this is gonna be my last time eating this. Actually, I'm gonna put some over my eggs. It's delicious with everything. I think chili oil just goes well with so many things. I I do I really do recommend this uh, chili crunch. And then I also have this fly by Jing chili oil. It's a really good one too. This one's a little bit more liquidy than David Chang's and I like to just like um, sprinkle it on top of things just for it to be more fragrant, add color. Really, really good. This one's a good one too. Just have green onions and cilantro ready to go and chopped up in my fridge because I top everything off with green onions and cilantro. It just, it's a perfect combination. And look at that. It took me less than probably 10 minutes to make this. And yeah, this is my lunch. I'm gonna have a bite. Mmm. Never get old. Dinner time. This is the same rice. So a little bit of that. And then you guys have seen me make this before in my um, meal prep with me. This is the turkey log. You guys have also seen me make this. I, this is just blanched bok choy. Blanched bok choy. But see, it's just so much easier if everything is just ready to put out onto a plate. And we wait. What do you guys know about this brand? Yields. This brand is super iconic for its soy milk, but they have lychee milk. I mean, they have lychee milk, but they have uh, lychee juice. Do you pronounce it lychee or lychee? Either way, it's good. And here is my dinner. I've also been snacking today. 
Um, I snack every single day, but yeah, I'm a big snacker. Today, I snacked on some chicken skin, snacked on some candies, um, gummy bears specifically. Recently, I have been really enjoying these. These are really good. They're dark chocolate with coconut almonds. Very delicious. Let's go ahead and get a bite. I try to drink like a gallon a day, but um, usually it's uh, only like three fourths, maybe only half. But I try my best to. I don't count the two cups of tea in the morning, so maybe that kind of makes up for it a little bit. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. Do you like the turkey? It's really good. You finished it? Huh? You finished it? There's still a little bit more. Just a little bit though. Yeah. But um, yeah, I really like this turkey because um, it heats up well. It doesn't lose its uh, flavor or anything. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food. Make sure to go on my Instagram to see what you have to do to win the $100. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!